Almost all research on CGMs or continuous glucose monitors that has been done to this point has been done in people who are living with and managing diabetes. There is very little data available on what glucose patterns are like in the general population. And that was really the, the reason that we thought it was so important to conduct this study. This study aims to contribute to our understanding of glucose levels in the general population and how glucose levels vary with lifestyle, that is what you eat, your activity, your sleep, etc., and how they change based on demographic information, like your genetic background, your age, your gender, your weight. For instance, adults who are healthy, but may be at risk for developing diabetes, might have patterns that indicate that risk. Uh, so we can identify folks who are at risk early and help intervene and help them on a path back toward health. For those folks who are at risk, we may also see patterns that are associated with improvements in health. And understanding those patterns can really help us guide people to interventions like diet, uh, exercise, etc., that are working for them. So these are two big ways that this study could really help in the long term to improve people's health and well-being. Our study has two objectives. The first objective is to develop and analyze a reference data set or a baseline data set that describes the glucose patterns in the general population and how those change with different lifestyle interventions. The second aim of the study is to determine how those glucose levels differ across different types of people. That is folks with a different genetic background, different ages, different weights, etc. And how is that correlated to lifestyle data? The next question is generally, how does this study work? First, you need to join Levels as a member. During your joining process, we will ask if you want to participate in this study. And there's additional information about what that entails on the website, as well as in our app. Second, you're going to answer a couple of short questions. And then third, uh, you start using Levels. Levels, I think, has really done a great job of providing education to the public so far. And we're seeing there are a lot of people who are interested in joining the Levels community. Uh, what we have not had so far is a way for that community to give back and to contribute to research. And this is that way. What this study uniquely offers is for people to be able to volunteer their data so that we can better understand how glucose impacts the general population and how we can use that to improve people's health. So I think the one thing I would urge you to think about if you're thinking about becoming a, a Levels member is, am I comfortable uh, giving my data back so that we can make advancements in terms of how we understand glucose and health?